Okay guys, doing an Elton John song. I guess that's why they called the blues one of my favorites. Okay, and uh, for those of you who don't know me, hello, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I do video lessons on YouTube, and also my website, which is webpianoteacher.com. You can find all of my videos on there. I have tons of video lessons on there for you to practice with. You can also find me on Facebook. Just look me up. Uh, you can type in facebook.com slash webpianoteacher or do a search for Sean Cheek. Let's get to the lesson now. We're going to start with right hand on a G above middle C, and then a C above that, and an E above that. Okay? So we're going to play that. And then we're going to move to the left just a little bit with our hand positioning. And we're going to have E, G, and D together. Alright, then we're going to change the top note to a C, but we're going to keep the G and the E, okay? And these three chords kind of go together. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. The left hand's on a C octave, okay? Here's middle C, so I'm going to start on this C here and this C down here. Low C octave. And I'm going to play that first C octave with that right hand chord all together. And then I'm going to play that left hand octave again all by itself in between. So it goes together, left, right, right. Together, left, right, right. So. Okay, now here, I hear a little flip in there, a little country third. Now, if you can't do this, we're going to leave the A out and just play the B and it'll sound just fine, okay? But I really hear that little flip in there that Elton does all the time. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to do that D and G and A together. Now the real note we're trying to get to is B, but we're kind of flipping that A in there. So play the A with your middle finger and then immediately go to B. Put the weight on the A, but then go to that ring finger on the B, okay? Because it's a G chord. And of course continue holding the D and the G below it. So we have and then we're going to go to uh, turn down just a little bit. Alright, we're going to have we're going to keep the D and the G and we're going to change the top note to a C and then we're going to change the top note to a D. Okay, so now on the left hand here we're going to move up to an E here. Okay, so an E octave, then we're going to play that E octave here and also here as well. Now we play it together with the right hand there, and then we're going to play it in between. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so uh, starting right here. Da -da, right, left, right, left. Okay, so this whole box slowly will sound like this. C, F, and A. Alright, the left hand is going to be on the F octave here. Play that all together. And then this F is this thumb F. One, two times. So together, left, left. And then we're going to have ba ba bum ba bum is the rhythm. Ba ba bum ba bum. You hold the C and the A out up here, and I have those two little dashes to let you know you hold them out. And then the G and F are quick. Ba 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 ba. Okay, so C and F and A together, and then C, F. Now high C and A together. Bum, ba bum. So we have bum, ba, ba, bum, for the right hand. The left hand, you know, just stays on that F octave. F octave, thumb, thumb, together. Okay, so it's together, left, left, right, together, right. boxes together, okay? Box one and box two together at a kind of a slow tempo for you. Okay, that wasn't too slow. It's kind of a slow song anyway. Uh, and then we're going to play G, C, and E down here on the right hand. So we move down. We're going to get out here to the left. G, C, E. Now, I quit putting both letters to C octave because I kind of ran out of room because I'm writing so big. So, um, it's a C octave, even though I put one C. So two Cs, just assume it's an octave in the left hand, okay? So together, and then a C octave again, right here in between. All right, sometimes I do this to let you know that. Okay, 
So together, left, and then the right hand is going to go E above middle C, and then we're going to play G, C, and E all together. Boom, boom. So the E first, and then the rest of it. It's actually one big chord, E, G, C, E. We're just breaking it up, thumb, and then the rest of it. So we have together, left, again, together, left. And then we're going to have D, G, and B together, and then D, G, and C, and then D, G, and B, and then C, F, and A together. All right, left hand's going to be on an E octave here, together with that right hand. Then we're going to go right, left, right, left, together. Right, left, right, left, together. So starting here we have together, left. Now don't play the left hand too loudly, okay? The left hand's kind of filling in the beat there. So uh, the melody's on the right. So keep the right hand strong and the left hand not so much. So, and of course, as always, I finished the song on Web Piano Teacher. Com. So look for that very shortly on webpianoteacher.com for the entire song. Now to recap, let's go through it one more time. 